hello beautiful people like share and subscribe so i'm i'm not gonna lie for you i'm so happy anytime i see a pc supporters crying blood it gives me joy to my soul because i remember during the campaign you know we warned these people and let me just advise them if after you know saying you want to campaign against tinibu then uh, next election you start supporting an article maybe because it's from the north it shows something is wrong with your head the only person is message see resonates with many Nigerians is either P2B or Showere, of which I think that both of them should come together, even though from they are from the South, they are the only people saying practical things of what they would do and what makes sense and don't have uh, corruption things. Uh, so I'll read it first. Um, you can pause the video and look at the slides and let me read what Ayo said. Ayo can they said, so it's disappointing how much has gone wrong under your administration to the point where many have lost hope. Your stance on corruption is weak and as seen in how figures like your bill have undermined the credibility of institutions like the FCC. Furthermore, your actions or lack of uh, regarding um, the Dangote refinery project seems to suggest sabotage. Have you considered that if this venture fails, no serious investor will, will be willing to risk investing in Nigeria? It's troubling that you appear to be a tool for foreign powers intent on keeping Nigeria underdeveloped. It's as if you don't understand the changing global dynamics or worst you do, but have chosen to remain compromised. Africa is rising and we continue to do so with or without your leadership. I have hoped you will be a force for a positive change, but it's clear you are not. Good day, sir. Then this is for Aisha Haman. I don't know whether it's Aousa Fulani. The first one is Yoruba. Um, APC supporter. This one is Aousa Fulani. Uh, you either accept Bola Met after the election, or either accept Ahmed Tinibu, GCFR, and Kashima, uh, Kashim Shetima as your president and vice president, respectively, or join the whalers for the next four at least or eight years. And if you ask me, whaling for eight years will be emotionally exhausting. If a new Nigeria is your concern, you will pray to God to guide our leaders, right, irrespective of the party you belong to. Then the idiot Aisha has come out to say, um, okay, let me not call her an idiot. It's good at least they have they have woken up. She said, I am fully committed to campaigning for and supporting any better candidate who can defeat the government in 2027, regardless of their party. For me, removing PBAT is a personal mission and a priority. And inshallah, we must succeed. Are you seeing when we told these people during the campaign, look at what's happening, they do. Only a papa papa olumide came out for a debate on TV. Others didn't come out. And you now think Nigeria will be good with those kind of mentality. You mean that they're using word now? Eh? Look at Trump. Come out for debate second time. They say no go come out. You must come out and say what you want to do. So if you don't do it, people will attack you. Peter B said a lot of things. Peter B mentioned, always mentioned famine in the north. Which I agree with him, but I don't agree with him. The famine must be everywhere, not only north. Yes, you can scale up the one in the north, but you must comprehensively do agriculture everywhere in the north. Obi also talks about ending the security. And I believe me, I can do it. That insecurity. I've listened to many analysts and I've seen the very best way. And I've mentioned that forest guards are the easiest way. They must go look for these bandits. And we must crush it aggressively. You understand? I've even mentioned amnesty in the first one month. If they don't come out, we'll go aggressively and go and cover every inch of mile in Nigeria. Just the way the colonialists came to Africa and conquered Africa. Then the third one is... Uh, uh, what do they call it? You know, let's assume Obi became president and he didn't do all these things. I will, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Obi is the since I started watching Tanjapoli, Obi is the first person. Now, let me even advise all this Aisha because she's from the north, I believe. If you like, go and support Atiku. Atiku say he will share the whole thing with friends. Obi, Shuere, Usimbajo are still the three limelights that can move Nigeria forward. I'm telling you, they need to combine. All this one they are doing, I don't like it. You understand? Maybe Obi can become president. Then because then uh, later Obi will support Shuri in the future. You understand? I believe Nigeria should also um, be um, our constitution needs to be changed. We should need to go regional, six regions, one mayor, one ceremonial president. Scrap the governorship system. Let the there be local government chairman who will be uh, involved in maintenance and everything. Or if possible, I don't even know. Maybe they, because. You keep on sharing the small money and these people keep wasting it. How many governors are working? I always ask that question. So, you know, seeing their tears is good. But it's good let them cry blood because this one they are shedding is tears. You understand? It's tears. 
you, you know, we kept warning these people that this man doesn't have any idea or solution how to move Nigeria. Not these people didn't call us. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I don't want to talk much. You can read stop us the ply slides and listen um, look at the rubbish these people wrote. They are just their cry just started.